The Shilla Kingdom originated from the state of Saro in Kwangchu region and comprised 12 Chinhan chiefdoms from the southeastern part of Korean peninsula. The dynasty was actually ruled by members of three different families in the early centuries of Shilla Kingdom, which are the Park, Sok, and finally the Kim. The Kim family held power for more than 600 years, so it is still qualifies as one of the longest known dynasties. Park Kyuk Hose, also known as King Kyuk Hose, founded the Shilla Kingdom. He became the king when he was 12 years old. He was compassionate and wise ruler who founded one of the strongest, wealthiest and most flamboyant kingdoms in the history of Korean peninsula. Like other two kingdoms, there is also a mythology behind the foundation of Shilla kingdom. Before Shilla was established, people in Gyeongju, which later became the Shilla capital, had no king. They lived scattered across six villages. Each was with its own chief. One day, they concluded in a meeting that with no king or kingdom, running the villages would be very hard. As they sought a virtuous man to serve as king, they saw a light near a well. A white horse was bowing there. When the village chiefs ran toward it, the horse ascended to the skies and large egg appeared when the horse had been bowing. When they touched it, the egg broke and a young boy was hatched. The boy's body glowed and the birds and beasts around him danced. The village chiefs considered this a sign and named the boy Pak Hyok Khuse. Pak means egg and Hyok Khuse meaning someone who will rule the world with bright light and they raised him to be king. This mythology is also similar to the myths of Southeast Asia. One of the most notable features of Shilla state at this time was reign of women, including famous queen Sondok and her successor. Her reign was also distinguished by the increased integration of Buddhism which was already the official state religion and the construction of famous Chomsongde, the oldest observatory in East Asia. Around that time, the state accepted Buddhism as a governing belief system, which henceforth led the foundation for the kingdom's political and moral thoughts and actions. In 562 century, Shilla annexed the Kaya, paving the way of unification. Besides the unification of three kingdoms, the Shilla era is well known for its artistic achievement and cultural freedom as well as for the flourishing of Buddhism and broad international ties. Shilla culture had international aspects including overseas exchange as evidenced by foreign artifacts excavated from Chongchu region, as well as traces of Western culture found in burial mound figures. Shilla culture is represented by its Buddhist relics as well as distinctive wooden chamber tombs covered by stone mounds. Gold crowns and earrings excavated from the such wooden tombs are among one of the most splendid and impressive gold handcrafts in the world that earns Shilla the title of the country of gold. Shilla society was profoundly influenced by the bone rank system which is also called hereditary caste system and Buddhism which dominated both social law and spiritual belief. 
And this is not the end here. In our next video, we will try to understand the unification of Shilla by unifying all three kingdoms and Kaya confederation.